row muckers. Wow. Tim's been. Collected his fish. Shame to see him go, really. I've had them here since May, so, what, four months? Um, put on quite a bit of size, to be fair. Uh, yeah, the Kaharkus. When we got them in May, they were they were eight centimeters. When we got them in May, uh, we now got, or he's now got one at seventeen and one at fifteen. So in four months, they've you know they've nearly doubled their size. They have doubled their size, to be fair. Um, the Tancho Kahaku. He uh, he was the smallest. He started off at seven centimeters. He's now 12 centimetres, so again a good bit of growth over the over the last four months, sort of thing, you know. But the Sauraguay, <laughs> typical Sauraguay, really. I don't think Tim really realises what he's taken on with a Sauraguay. To be fair, I mean it is a munching machine, and that started off at 10 centimetres in May. It's now 23. Typical Sauraguay. Get as much food in it as possible, um, but that, that thing is going to be a tank. It's got wide shoulders and, and everything. It's gorgeous fish. It really was a shame to let that one go back to him, <laughs> you know. But hey ho, it is his fish. Uh, there's nothing else I can really do about it. And I needed them gone. I need to make room for for my new ones that are coming this week. Um, but yeah, like I say, I don't need to realise it's quite what he's taken on with a tank like a Sargoy. To be fair, I mean. <laughs> we all know they get big and they get big quick um, but yeah fantastic fish they're all in great condition done some scrapes for him as well while I was while we were there doing it uh, getting them out and that just to check them over give them the once over they're all good fit healthy you know nothing at all on them so yeah he, he's more than happy but he's taken them on now like I say um, but give me room to go over and pick mine up in the week my new ones um, so yeah happy days well, I did record it me chasing them around I mean they're small fish in a fairly sized pond with a net handle that's just too small it was fun put it that way but <laughs> other than that I did record it like I say but unfortunately next door is having a little bit of a do and they had a lot of music playing which copyright rules on YouTube and that I can't actually play the audio but I will put up a little snippet with no audio um, in this video as well so other than that guys that's it for today see you later <laughs>
spot on. Right, I'm gonna do a couple of scrapes and then uh, I'll get back to you. See you in a bit. Right, there we go. Done my scrapes, all nice and clean. It's a nice shower. Oh. Happy as Larry with that. Well happy. And the chag's buggered off. Typical. There it is. Nice chag. Now these are two fish I've been after all year. So, seems about right to go and get them just before the end of the season. Happy, happy. So I'm going to get these in my box and get them back. I'll catch you when I get back to my pond. Oh my cars, here we are, we're back at my pond now. So I'm going to float these guys for about half an hour. Oh. Super, super chuffed. Super chuffed. Finally got me chagoy. And me shower. I've been looking for these. All bleeding season. For a nice shower. And a nice chag. Old Scotty boy managed to get out of some for me. He stepped up. He's a good lad, he is. Can't thank him enough. The shower is quite feisty, mine. The chag is as chilled out as they come. Yeah. Right, I'm going to float these guys for about half an hour anyway. There's a streamer going off in the background now, so um, I'll be back to you in a bit when I uh, put them in the bowl, give them a measure up, and then uh, I'll release them. All right, I'm muckers. Right. They've been floating now for about 35, 40 minutes. So I think it's time now that we got them out, put them in the bowl, add a measure up. And I look at them and then I'll put them in the pond. Happy days. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so here's the shower. Absolutely stunning condition. Got a real, real loads of uh, sumi to develop yet. All around here, all up through here, down through the back here, and here. Lots of development to come on in this one. Really, really happy with that fish. A couple of small gimrin scales. Um, but not a lot. Some more development, some more sumi coming through the fins as well. So yeah, well chuffed with that. Well chuffed. See what sort of size she is. I believe Scott has measured her, him, her, whatever it is. And told me 35. Yeah, 35 centimeters. Super, super happy with that. Right, let's get that one in. Let's move my crap out of the way. And there's my second one, Chagoy. Again, gorgeous condition. Absolutely stunning fish. 
no marks on her, fins are all intact. Bloody wonderful. Again, this one has been measured, but I'm just going to have a go. Yeah, like 31 centimetres. Super, super happy. Been looking for a decent shower and a decent chag all season. This one's got massive shoulders. Huge, huge bulbous shoulders coming on. A lot of development there. Happy days. <laughs> Worry muckers. It's all going next door. So it might be a bit start stop this one. Um, but yeah, anyway. 24 hours after the uh, the new guys have settled in. 24 hours after the new guys have gone in. They've settled in absolutely fantastic. I'm proper chuffed with them. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Scott. Um, he's looked after them, quarantined them for me for a little while. He found them, for starters. So he knew I was looking for a chag. And he knew I was looking for a shower all year round. And he was, he's gone out of his way to go and get one and quarantine it for... Well, go and get them and quarantine it for... Quarantine them for me. I can't get my words out today quarantine them for me and make sure they're all safe and all all right and uh, he's a fantastic lad and i tell you what i owe him a bloody big drink so yeah i hope you get better soon scott lifting all those bloody carp out look you've done your back in so he sold a few over the weekend but anyway yeah it's been 24 hours since my mine have gone in and they've settled in lovely they have settled in lovely the shower is a little bit shy to feed with the rest of them at the minute um, so I whipped on into my local store and got some sinking pellet and he's taking them off the bottom absolutely fine but the chag well it's a race at the minute between the chag and my original my sorogoy to get to the pellets first so typical chag I reckon that's gonna be a big fish you know um, but yeah other than that I'll spin you around guys and we can have a look so there you go there they are everybody's all good all fit and healthy, all hungry. Try again, noticed it yet? Look, <laughs> they're both down there. It would be nice to get the shower to come up and feed. He, he's showing interest, he's just not quite there. Um, but like I say, it's only been 24 hours. He's sorting stuff out. Uh, the chag's up straight away, like with the sorrow boy. Those two are inseparable at the minute. It's funny, really, how all of a sudden, you know, the chag's gone in and then straight away he's kind of connected himself to the Sorogoy. He won't be long without her. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, he's just under the surface there. He's showing some interest, a shower, but not quite up there just yet. I don't know whether it's because I'm stood here. Yeah, it's straight back down on the bottom, look. Yeah, it'll it get there. It'll get there. I'm mega, mega happy with it. Um, it's, it's probably the shyest fish I've ever had, to be fair, though. Happy days. Anyway, I'm going to show you the top of the shower a minute, guys. I've not looked at it for a week. The, the shower's been running for a week now. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what finds are coming through I did put a pad in there so let's have a look oh look at that that's after a week there's not a hell of a lot of finds coming through there at all not a lot coming through there at all that so my multi bay is doing a great job I've definitely got my mechanical Filtration sorted. I haven't done a water test just yet. This week I'll do one tomorrow. There you go, that's been a week. I've not hoovered this out for a week. There's something else I want to say. I am I'm gonna do a um, review on the Nishikoi food. Um simply because I'm really, really happy with it. Yes, it's expensive, 
but I'm not getting any waste hardly at all. You know, that's that's a week's worth in there. Don't know if you can see it. That's a week's worth in the bottom of that. I haven't touched that for a week. Um, so there's very little waste with it. Where with the coppins, I was having to use my little aquarium hoover thingy. Um, and I was doing that every every other day, like, you know, every two days. So, yeah, massive difference. Massive difference. But well, I'm not going to chuck any sinkers in there for this feed. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away now and hope that that shower comes up. See, she's coming up for the pellets under the plants. Yeah, you get there. I'll, I'll walk away and let them feed. So, bring you back round. Yeah, so that's it for this week, guys. Really, um, like I say, massive thank you to Scott. You know, I've looked everywhere. <laughs> he managed to find them. So he's a good lad. He is. Um, yeah, other than that, guys, yeah, very, very little muck coming through the system and into the shower. Um, the filtration, the mechanical filtration is working the tree. So, I've been heavily feeding this week. So the test will be on the water test. I'm going to do a water test tomorrow. Um, the test will be on that to see uh, whether the shower's working or not, really. So, uh, the show is just taking them out for the pellets. <laughs> Happy days. Right, other than that, guys, I'm going to leave it there for this week. I'll uh, give you the results of the shed, of the water test next in next week's video. Um, so, yeah, you won't miss out. See you next time. Stay safe. Be a. Cheers, muckers.